It's another Tuesday trend day and I got 10 more Redbubble trends for you. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So in this video, I'm doing it again, 10 more Redbubble trends for you, all with low competition. Uh, I just wanted to let you know though that I'm not looking for the lowest competition. These are low competition, but sometimes the very lowest competition isn't something you, you wanna go after. So sometimes on Redbubble, the ones with the lowest competition, like super, super low competition, are only done by a couple of people and and they're just doing multiple versions of the same thing. So make sure that when you're looking for your own trends, uh, the competition around there is not just a couple of people doing a multiple versions of the same thing. You want to look for variety. Uh, you also want to look for topics that uh, can be used later. And remember when you're designing your stuff, it should look like uh, it was designed by an artist. So take those things in mind. You're going to want to stay till the end for this video because I'm going to lay it all out again, all 10 together so you can take a snapshot as well as another edition of Trend Credits. So let's get started. So the first trend that I found for you on Redbubble for this week is Mandala Dotted. So you can see here only 387 results. So not super, super low, but I think it's low enough for you to break into. And you can see it's done by different people, see? So you can see, uh, I mean, those two are the same. That's different, different. So you, you want to look uh, for a variety of people and, and a variety of designs. So uh, dotted means done with circles. So these are mandala dotted. And um, if you go into here and type in for the search, you'll see that both mandala dotted and mandalas dotted are trending. So that's cool. Uh, let's look at the best selling here. So you can also incorporate uh, zodiac signs and space, I guess, here. So this is more what I think of mandala dotted. Uh, mandalas made with dot. Mandalas are just a design pattern that you can see here. Um, there's no exact way to do it, but it, it's basically in kind of like a circle shape. So you can see here some good ones. Uh, let me show you some ideas. So here's the idea board I made for you, the 15 product tags, right? The mandala, mandalas dotted. Here's some other ideas. You can do some lots of different mandala patterns. Uh, mandalas in objects, so you can see here, uh, this one is in a uh, elephant. Uh, and mandala in different colors, so you can see here, lots of different colors. A, a lot of times you can get away with just black on white, but if you can incorporate the colors like these, like this, different colors, uh, I think you'll do really well. And here's just dotted mandala, so you can see the difference between these right here are kind of more the traditional mandala shapes, and then you can make them with dots, right? So you can see here with circles. So that's dotted mandalas. I think this one will be a fun one to try and branch out and do something different if you have never done mandalas, but it, it is a cool pattern and it sells well on Redbubble. You can see that even this is trending. So that is your trend number one, mandala dotted. So trend number two is this, dogs are not our whole life. You can see only 392 results. Uh, there's also a trend, dogs are our whole life. So basically the whole sentence is, dogs are not our whole life, but they make our lives whole. So really cool phrase like that. And the reason I picked this one is because dogs is a very, very popular uh, niche on Redbubble. So of course you're gonna wanna do some dog stuff on here and, and this is one of them you can get into. Uh, here's the best sellers. Again, uh, you can see different designers, right, doing them. There may be a few from the same, but you wanna look for a variety of designers. And of course you wanna look for stuff that you can come in and break into. I think the designs here are okay, but they're not super strong that you can't break into here. So here's the idea board I made for you. 15 product tags you can see here, dogs are not our whole life and dogs are our whole life. Those Both of those tags on there, as well as a lot of other dog stuff. Uh, when you do dog designs, think of dog puns and sayings. Uh, think of dogs plus your family or dog mom, dog dad, that kind of thing, and different dog types. So you can see here, I have a whole bunch of dog types here you got pugs, you got beagles, you know, all these all these different dog types. There's different graphics that you can use when you're doing a dog 
sentence kind of design so make sure uh, to maybe incorporate some of these like silhouettes of dogs or bones and paws or that kind of thing uh, look up dog icons as another way that you can figure out what to put in there and again just lots of different dog types right so you could put them in a list with the name underneath or, or whatever you want so trend number two dogs are not our whole life so trend number three for this video is hedge hugs you can see only 374 results so not super super low but i picked this one because it's a pun of hedgehogs but hedge hugs so those do really well and of course who doesn't love hedgehogs um and these are the best selling it looks like we got some copycats over here these two look the same but they're not the same person and these two look very similar but they're not the same person so um hopefully whoever of you uh is the real owner can report them it's pretty crazy that that happens on redbubble but uh there's ways to report that but here's the competition take a look at these um some interesting ways that people are doing hedgehogs right and hedge hugs really cool lots of Oh, those are the same person so that's cool different ways to do hedge hugs these are some of the ideas here first the product tags uh, make sure to look for some hedgehog product tags and you can use those as well as hugging and you know xoxo those kinds of things um, you might want to do some other hedgehog sayings uh, i got a few down here some puns some other animals hugging those could do well and some other animal puns so uh, just take a look here at different ways to draw a hedgehog you know there's lots of different ways uh, and then there's lots of different ways that you can use that hedgehog and use some puns so you can see here be cool be hedgy i love you a whole hedge of a lot looking sharp so different puns different sayings for hedgehogs so hedge hugs is your trend number three so trend number four is another animal here but this is a legendary animal according to redbubble so this is just a boy who loves dinosaurs only 352 results and these are the best selling here again multiple designers right so make sure um, when you come in here that yours is better than these and yours stands out do not copy these uh, hopefully i don't need to say that all the time but uh but it should be obvious you don't want to copy these things on here you want to make your own and stand out but this is the competition that people are going to look at when you put your design here is yours better than these and are, is someone going to come in here and pick yours instead of somebody else's right so that's that's why we look at the competition here lots of cool ways to do this so take a look at these product tags here i use t-rex and tyrannosaurus rex those kinds of things uh, in my product tags if you're going to design t-rex dinosaurs then use that but if you're going to use triceratops then of course don't put tyrannosaurus rex or t-rex in there so just make sure to use the relevant tags when you're doing yours so other ideas is a uh, blank who loves dinosaurs you saw girl who loves dinosaurs uh, you could do a mom who loves dinosaurs any of those kinds of things uh, dinosaur puns i put some down here for you but there's tons of those and then dinosaur groupings right so i put those here so uh, if you put all the different types of dinosaurs on a t-shirt i think that could do really well you can see different ways to draw it and i i put these graphics here because i wanted to show you that there's different ways that you can draw your dinosaur not everybody will draw it the same and in fact if you draw yours in your own style i think it will do really well you can see that is a dinosaur that is a dinosaur and that is a dinosaur but they're all drawn really differently and this one kind of looks more realistic even though it's a cartoony but you could go real cartoony with like hand-drawn stuff and hand-drawn uh designed by an artist remember that uh does really well on redbubble so make sure you if you can draw uh, or if you can't you may be able to draw something like this right think about that when you're designing this trend this is trend number four just a boy who loves dinosaurs so trend number five here i found this it's a swimming thing 266 results the reason why i picked this one is first you can see there's so many tags up here that you can use when designing yours so lots of people looking for swimming designs you can see it's a swimming thing uh that's a sport so that's uh, a hobby one of the top things people are looking for and swimming it's getting close to summer so people are swimming more um, swimming teams those kind of things in school so uh, it's a swimming thing you wouldn't understand so that's the whole phrase that you can use but you can just do it's a swimming thing make sure yours is different than these and stands out so that people pick yours when they're looking for the best sellers they can scroll down here and yours will stand out right above these so this is the competition so first the product tags here of course all related to swimming 
you can do other swimming sayings. Not only it's a swimming thing, but I'm sure there's a lot of love swimming, those kinds of things. Ocean animals swimming or beach sayings too. So I, I think all of those are going to be very popular uh, in the summer as we get closer and closer to summer. I just put these different graphics here because a lot of times you might just think of doing this graphic, but there's so many ways of doing a swimmer. So you got the side view, the front, uh, you got different ways to do it. You can do it very graphically. So you can see here, this person looks like it's water and, and look at the colors here and the different ways and shapes that people are doing here. So uh, this is one way to stand out with your artwork. Um, and then as well as combining it, don't forget about your composition. Don't just put words together. You kind of have to combine it in a way that looks um, pleasing, right? So you can see here some other things and you can do your own Google search too, but take a look at this make sure that yours is nice and it's actually something people would want to wear if you put it on a t-shirt or something actually people want to put on as a sticker. So this is trend number five. It's a swimming thing. So trend number six here is celebrate neurodiversity, only 255 results. And you can see a, a few tags right there. And these are the best selling. This is a topic, I picked this one because this is a topic that's trending right now. You may have seen my um, trend credits. I did celebrate neurodiversity for Amazon and it's also trending on Redbubble. So sometimes that happens. It has to do with the mind and different ways, how different people think. So you can see here, celebrate neurodiversity. Um, people think differently and you know, each person thinks in their own way. Uh, and so you can see right here, uh, this is the symbol, this infinity symbol with uh, different colors. So that's going to be kind of a theme that you'll see here with the colors and the infinity because that's kind of the symbol for it. And here are some tags that you can use. Uh, neurodiversity also a lot of times encompasses things like ADHD and, um, you know, the spectrum um, Tourette's, those kinds of things. So ASD. So I, I use some of those tags as well in here. So you can do a lot of different things for neurodiversity as well as other topics that are related like autism and ADHD when you're doing these things. So here are some uh, graphic ideas, just the colors again, the brain is a good one. Uh, you can see the infinity symbol again with colors um, and then words, you can use different words that relate to neurodiversity too. So here's different ways to draw the brain. Uh, and, and use the different colors. So make sure that yours stands out and is actually something someone would wanna wear or use as a sticker. This is trend number six, celebrate neurodiversity. So for your trend number seven, I found this, people should seriously stop expecting normal from me. Only 115 results. And you can see the best selling right here. Uh, let's take a look at these. So, um, I think this is one that you could break into. Very long phrase though, so you're gonna have to design it uh, in a way that it doesn't look so heavy. But I got some ideas for you. So here's the idea board I made for you. First, the product tags. Uh, you can use some of those. Uh, different funny sayings you can do and just think differently, right? Those kinds of things. Animals doing uncommon things or some other ideas. I put them here. When you're doing this design, think of ways that you can make it a uh, little different. Because the phrase says, stop expecting normal from me, you're going to want to do fonts that aren't kind of normal. So you can see here this A is upside down, for example, kind of hand drawn. This is more like a handwritten stuff. You can see a lot of the text being used here are handwritten. So think of that. So think of graphics that are not normal, maybe a little strange. So you can see I put a kind of like monsters here or, or kind of hand drawing these kinds of things or maybe animals doing things that are uncommon. So a koala with a sloth is not something you'll see all the time. A cookie drinking milk isn't something you see all the time. A sloth hanging from the rainbow isn't something that you see all the time. So this is your trend number seven. People should seriously stop expecting normal from me. So for trend number eight, I found this night shift janitor, only 89 results. And these are the best selling. You can see um, a lot of times it's just tech. So I think this one is an easy one to break into if you have some graphics on here. So let's take a look at all of the best selling. You can see, uh, I think this is one that you could break into pretty easily. Here's the idea board that I made for you. Here's some product tags, uh, different things that you can think about, cleaning, uh, custodial work, that kind of thing. 
Uh, you could do some other night shift workers, right? Once you do this, once you get a good design, uh, maybe think of custodians and what they do, the cleaning part and, and different tools. So in the graphics here, I put different ways that you can draw a janitor. You could do the stick figure, you know, or you could do it more cartoony, I think, or more realistic. There's so many ways that you can do that. And then I put different graphics here that you could use. Uh, instead of maybe just a person, you could use these kinds of things, you know, cleaning supplies. You could also make a cute kawaii kind of thing. I didn't see that there. So lots of things like that. And uh, hand-drawn, right? A lot of hand-drawn things uh, design like an artist or, or do your things like an artist. So that is your trend number eight, night shift janitor. So for trend number nine, I got this abs in progress, only 74 results. So uh, very low results. And there's so many different ways you can do this one too. Uh, you can see here my six pack abs with donuts or a uh, animal doing some workouts or just the progress bra, uh, people working out different things like that. So let's take a look at the best selling, uh, very low competition. So I think you can break into this one. So here's some ideas for you, different product tags, all about working out, crunches, training, those kinds of things. And you could do other things in progress. I think those would work, you know, um, I don't know, biceps in progress or something like that. Um, and workout saying, so this is a big one right now. People are uh, love to work out and that's a huge niche. Uh, animals working out, you saw that as well. I don't have any pictures here, but uh, you could think of different ways that animals could work out. Here's some graphics of abs. So you got the basic abs down here. You got these kind of drawn. So you can draw your abs in different ways. And then think about in progress, right? Uh, work in progress, like a working sign or this loading sign, different ways to do loading things. You got the spinner, you got the loading bar. And then these things about different things in progress, you can see weekend loading, better days loading, baby loading, different things like that you could do with the loading bar. Um, as well as abs. So think of different ways to do that. That is your trend number nine, abs in progress. So for your final trend here, trend number 10 is yarn bombing. You can see only 73 results and these are the best selling right here. So uh, take a look at this. Not a lot of yarn. I would think more yarn. That, there's a yarn bomb. There's a yarn. So, so yarn bombs are those just round balls of yarn. So you can see here yarn bombing yarn bombing so not so, not so many you can break into this one if you um, like doing this idea so here's some things to get you started uh, product tags right of course with uh, yarn knitting crocheting those kinds of things uh, you're going to want to do some knitting and yarn ideas maybe some other crafting or crafty sayings i put some yard bombs here so you can see different ways to draw that you could do it really cute or just the basic here with the needles uh, or do it in different shapes right so the heart shape and I put a bomb here because when I think yarn bombing, uh, maybe you can kind of incorporate a yarn and a bomb together, kind of match those two up. And there's different craft sayings, right? So uh, look on the internet, you got this handmade, knit happens. There's some other ones back here that you can you can look up too. So this crafting niche is a huge one, especially with uh, uh, being home and knitting. I think a lot of people have taken that as a hobby as we stay home more and more. So yarn bombing uh, is your trend number 10. So that is it for this video. Here are all the 10 trends right here, all in a nice list. So you can take a snapshot. This will be your to-do list for the week. A lot of good ones here. Uh, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. If I had to pick, uh, I think hedgehogs is a good one. That mandala dotted would be a fun one as well. Um, let's see, what else would I do? I, I think yarn bombing would be interesting, trying to uh, mash up the yarn and the bomb. I, I was thinking of that. So a lot of good ones here. Let me know in the comments which one you want to do. And uh, thanks so much for watching this video. And your reward for staying till the end is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying till the end for this trend. Here is your trend, purple up military kids. I didn't even know this was a thing, but I, I found this out by doing some research. You can see low BSRs, check it those out. Wow, some super low BSRs. I didn't know this was a holiday. Uh, the holiday is actually April 15th, so you don't have much time. Uh, you might wanna mark this for next year, but uh, this happens every year. Purple up, military child. Uh, they wear purple and merch informer checking the competition, it's getting an A, so you know it's good. Again, if you don't have Merch Informer, I have a link in the description. They keep improving and improving this app, so that's a good one to get um, if you don't have it already. 
Again, let's look at this trend. Uh, purple up military kids. There's so many different ways you can do this. A, a lot of ways you'll, you'll see with the uh, ribbon, uh, with the flag, you can see different things. But these are for military kids, uh, kids with parents that are in the military. So take a look at that. It's a day that they all wear purple. I had no idea. You can look up that holiday on Google and, and learn more about that to help you design. So that is the trend for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I wanted to try a different ending for this video, trying something new out. But if this video gave you some value, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I got one on the bottom right corner. Uh, you can hit that right there. And now that you know that you have some trends for Redbubble, here are some videos that you can do to help you with your design work. Thanks so much for watching again. And as always, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.